Greetings guys and gals, my name is GV Games and on behalf of the GVG family I would like to welcome you all to Let's Play Grim Fandango Part 16 Now in the last episode we arrived at Hector Lamance's casino and we need a gun in, in order to confront him but we have obtained a suit and we have obtained makeup so that no one can recognize us. But now we're going to see if we can meet up with Bowsley, I believe his name was. I'm not putting those clothes back on. They yes, uh, Bowsley. Uh, let's see if he can provide us with some sort of weapon. Uh. Thank you, Gladys. I love you. Uh, uh, let's. Yes, Gladys. If I touch that stuff, I'd end up with morning glory mittens. Hmm. Well, we do have uh, an arm in a grinder. <laughs> so. Maybe if we pour some arm, some bone on this, it will... Hmm. Flakes of bone are sprouting when they hit the puddle and turning into baby tears. Baby tears? What? Uh, <laughs> so, I uh, guess it, we can find Bowsley this way. No? Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping this is what I'm supposed to do. I can't really think of any, anything else. So... Oh. Bowsley's probably in that maze. But I'd never be able to find him without, well, without something really helpful. Okay. I think I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. Oh, <laughs> that, that was fast. Hey, what's that? That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us! What? <laughs> the hell? Um, oh, okay. <laughs> uh... Oh, uh, maybe if we use our low rider button. That ledge looks like a safer place to be, but can't reach. Hmm. Can we move the vehicle forward? Yes, we can. Take this, you crocodile thingamajig. <laughs> can we reach now? Yes, we can. Sweet. Oh. And while it's distracted with the lotus, I'm going to sneak behind its back. It'll never notice me. Ho 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 ho. Huh? Uh oh. Um. Don't mind me. Oh, oh, okay. Hmm. So, okay. <laughs> um, let's try that one more time and see if I, I missed something. I might have missed some subtle clue. Uh, was, th was that a clue? Because it looks like the tail is under the under the the vehicle. So maybe if I do a little comedy bit and drop. The car on its tail. I'm. Uh, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> okay. You'll pay for this. How dare you? You won't get away. Uh, no, 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 no. You won't get away with this. Hmm, florist. Let's enter. 
I wonder if has some nice if he has some nice flowers. He seem pretty. No, it's. Oh, uh, well, uh, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about. I feel. You feel? These cases are full of sproutella. Yeah, the good stuff too. None of that slow acting fern food that I left for Hector. Oh. Fern food! Fern food! Yeah! What are you doing? Are you crazy? Uh. Get back! Put your hands over your head! Put your head in your hands! Put your head in your lap! You bear back off, man! I but mean it! I'm not feeling too rosy! He's I'm heavy. I feel. He's talking too fast! I it's put the hand on the put 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 What? put the 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 I'm thinking I better. Is he things are gonna change reacting to here? There's other shot. At least he's got some of the bodies on ice. It's things are gonna change around here. There's other shot. Can you shut up? Yeah, man. Thank you. Who do you think you're fooling? Huh? I don't think I love plants. Is that so wrong? No, it's not wrong. Yes, they are. They are beautiful. You are crazy. I said get back, Hector. But are you blind? You Do I look? You think plants are death? Uh, plants are oh. life. <laughs> plants are all death. Plants are life. Plants. Plants are. The world would be a better place. I can't even. I need to hand him make a joke. He's ruining everything. Looks like a big ball of tape screwed to the wall. Hmm. Screwed to the wall. Screwed to the wall. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> you see. Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? I love plants. Is that so wrong? No, it's not wrong. Uh. Plants are beautiful. Huh. Hey, do you know what you just did? You just opened Pandora's box! Do get out of here right now or I'll let you have it! I'll... Oh... Thank... God... Damn... He was... He was... Going on and on and on... Uh... Hey man, what did you do with me? I don't know man, I don't know man... Can I help you? Huh? Um, uh, it, I'm looking for something in a 9mm. Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. There you go. Would you like some baby's bread to go with that? Sure. All right, here you go. You have a baby's breath? What? He sure changed his tone. <laughs> the blink of an eye. I wonder why. What well, I wonder what that tape tape ball was. Hmm. Hey man, what do you do, man? Sounded kind of like um, uh, Tony Montana. Hey man, cockroaches, man. I <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> Uh, so now that we got our gun, I uh, guess we can go see Hector and kill his ass. I think this is his good side. His good side? He looks pretty grumpy to me. I'm here to conduct business with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, eh? Hockey dokey. Hockey dokey. One simple question. Huh. Okay, how many times has Hector Lamans unsuccessfully run for mayor? Um, okay, uh, uh, Whoa, there are a lot of uh, alternatives here. Let's go for something uh, realistic, I guess. <laughs> uh, two, maybe? 
<laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Laman. Oh, hokey dokey. I guess I don't. Can you give me another question, my comrade? Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. How many times has Hector Lamans run for mayor and won? Well, um, I don't know. How the hell should I know? Um, well, huh? There are numbers here. Uh, maybe the answer is one of the numbers. Um. Uh, I just gonna take one of the numbers then. Uh, is 32 an option? Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. 30, oh, 36 is an option. So 32? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. Uh, let's try it All again. Right. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay, if you were a cat. How many of you could Hector Lamont fit in his stomach? Uh, uh, I don't know. 21, maybe? 21? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamont like I know Hector Lamont. Ah. All right. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay, how many limos does Hector Lamont have in his garage? Um, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, well, that was an easy one. Too bad I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamont. <laughs> get out of, get out of here, comrades. I bet Hector pauses here every day and thinks to himself, "Boy, I wish I could see past my gut and enjoy my expensive monogrammed floor." <laughs> Well, yeah, Hector has a pretty unusual uh, body body shape, I guess. Uh, why did I? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, take that, Hector. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> I knew you could change him. What? Who are you? I'm the Grim. Oh, I wouldn't talk to him right now. He's mad at us because we won't buy his tickets. Oh. Oh, it's Celso. Looks like Celso found his wife after all. Hmm. Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lemont's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? If you don't mind me asking. I'm your travel agent. I'm your travel agent. Oh, I have a travel agent already. But he's miles away mopping floors in an automat, so I suppose the position is open. <laughs> um... Is this your wife, Celso? Is this your wife, Celso? Yes, we've just returned from a lovely cruise. Well, it became lovely once I caught up with you, my little tamale. Tamale? Hot tamale, hot hot tamale, hot tamale, hot hot. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Eh, uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double-end tickets? This price seems much more than double. It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho. Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. Ha! <laughs> oh. Uh, well, they cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, they cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? <laughs> okay. Uh, what exactly are you saving money for? A rainy day? What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. Oh, that's true. The real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? Huh. 
Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. I mean, oh, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do. So, this makeup. <laughs> He's as much as a This makeup breeds about as much as vulcanized rubber. Yes, but it brings out your strong jaw. Mm. Uh, I can raise my arms in this suit. I can't raise my arms in this suit. Well, let's just hope no one pulls the gun on you tonight, huh? <laughs> I just got back from the worst vacation I ever had. I just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No. Actually, it was your agent over there. Yeah, I, 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 of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> well, come on in. Let's chat, shall we? Ah, still <laughs> got it. Of course. He's one of my best agents. <laughs> I don't know who you are, and I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr. My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the compost pile. I... Yes, I guess he's done for. Hello, no. pigeons, friends now. Hmm. No pigeons? Are the pigeons here? No. No pigeons. It's a ladder. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is a ladder. I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the legs pointed too far down, and it looks like Hector blew the motor. Hmm. So, what will we do now? Hmm. Hmm. No, no. Huh. I think using that old gargle as a structural support for Glamour Girl here was a bad idea. No. <laughs> Um, I think using that old gargle as oh. a structural support for Glamour Girl here was a bad idea. It's cracked, but still stronger than me. Hmm. So... Is there anything in our inventory we can use? I guess liquid nitrogen won't help. Uh, our scythe, maybe? I don't want to mess up my blade. Nope. Um, 
Mm, no. I don't think so. Maybe? It's Sproutella, not Spackle. It's Sproutella, not Spackle. Oh, okay. It's Sproutella, not Spackle. Oh, oh. Ah, wrong button. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. Well, so much for my third arm. What? Is oh, we huh? Well, if we mix the bone with Sproutella, maybe something will happen. It always does. Well, there. It's gonna happen eventually. Yeah, I mean, come on, it was obvious. Yes, it is a lot of climbing. Jai ho! That one must be yours. Oh! Don't forget to send for help. Please do it quickly. Salvador's men. I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. What the? Hola, Manuel. Um. Time for you to swing, Daddy O. Let's see you walk. Oh no, man. These flowers. All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. Like your boyfriend Hector, huh? What a bitch! What? You know, you really have bad taste in men. No, I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. Yes, there is. But you're still a bitch. And you're gonna get it someday. Karma will... Karma is a bigger bitch than you. Um. So what's this? Hmm. Hector supplies hmm. water to keep the flowers alive. Does he see them as a memorial or as trophies? Ugh. He must kill a lot of people. Jeez. Not thirsty. God damn. God damn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I guess we'll go up to this little house over here. Little house on the prairie. <laughs> this is the way in. I just hope there's a way out. There's always a way out. Nudge, nudge. This is the way oh, in. Get I just hope there's a way out. Come on. Ah, uh, this camera angle. There we go. She loves me. She loves me not. Who loves you? Oh. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny. Oh. So cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. Burn! And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Botany? Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double N tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. Oh. 
<laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour because that idiot Bowsley ran off with all the fast acting Sproutella. The slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. Manny! Where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> Get it? Leave! <laughs> <laughs> I love Hector's laugh. <laughs> 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 uh, well, uh, ah, green spreading so painful. Well, leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I claw it out, but I don't have the strength. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe we have something in our inventory. Ah. Um, uh, this uh, might work. Ah. Uh, ah. Gracias, Toto Santos. With your heart so cold. <laughs> Can we talk to this bitch? This total bitch. Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must be mine. <sighs> shake it for me, baby. Ooh. Ah. Give it to me, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He truly gave his body to the cause. Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right. And tell Leva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. But when I bite this explosive tooth, a deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you- Hey, get out of there! Farewell, my friend! What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! I told you Karma was a bigger bitch than you. You can't be the biggest bitch. Nothing like the real McCoy. Nothing like the real McCoy. My scythe. Oh, sweet. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all along. No. Um. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Can we pick it up? It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Maybe we can use this ticket to find his body. It's the, well, the only real way to find anything here, I guess, since pretty much everything look the, looks the same. No, 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 no. Go up, go up. No, up. Up, 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 up. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can find something behind. It seems to be attracted to something over this way. Okay, so better take small steps. I remember what happened last time. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. No. No. Hmm. No. Ah. Ah. 
This is really not a very good mechanic. Ah, this is. There we go. Ugh. Let's search. This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. Sweet. Is there anything else? Oh. On Salvador's trunk, I'll bet. Uh, is there anything I else? Him no. thoroughly. Okay. Let's go back to Salvador's car. Ah. <laughs> it's a pretty fancy car for a revolutionary, I guess. And wait, how was she operating the car before? Isn't aren't the only things in this world that can operate cars the demons? Uh, ah, yes, lots of ammo. Sweet. Now we are ready Breathe. to kill. Heck. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. I said it. And I ain't and I ain't ashamed to say it again. Okay, Hector. Now it's just you and me. In a battle to the death. This camera angle is really bad. And I mean really bad. There we go. I'm not getting any closer until he runs out of ammo. If he runs out of ammo, that is. Oh, um well seems like the most logical thing besides just <laughs> kicking down the door and shooting him shooting him in the face would be to use a uh, a workaround and maybe shoot this to poison the water sound good well I think it sounds pretty good actually oh oh what's going on in there <laughs> what's going on in there when <laughs> come on open the door you You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assume I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. 
I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Give me a, give me a hug. <laughs> you were the best boss I ever had. Bye. Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. And that's the end. I think it was a little anticlimactic the way you took down Hector, but eh, I guess I guess it works. I really, really liked this game. It, it, it were some select moments where the game really showed its age, but other than those few select moments, it's it's really it was, it was really really good, and it still holds up, I think. So yeah, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this this let's play. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Ta-ta!